Though you have divine powers, you are no exception. Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, the Belmont clan will hunt the night! Beat it for the third time. I believe this game in a while and I just beat it again, finally. Been like eight years since I last beat it and I just got this game just recently with the PS2 and went through it and beat it again uh, this is just the end of the game Of course, it took me several attempts. 
I almost beat it earlier this morning. So it's about, I'd have to say it took me about four attempts. But there you have it. I beat it again. And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will never escape. And it just unlocked the game there. That shows you right there after you beat the game, you can acquire him. And then the crazy mode unlocked. Not that I really want to play that, but <laughs> just thought I'd show you. Pretty interesting. I believe that's it and uh, not sure if I mentioned this but I have the unlocked jewel that I got before beating the game so I can go to the prison and fa face that big large monstrosity down there um, and uh, I st still have to beat that that's my next attempt all right and that's that